What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin busher video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a 15 million dollar buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for 15 million dollars. So let's try that quarter right there in the center. Hopefully we can get a really good push. Come on big money. Nice one quarter fell down to lower shelf. Wow we got a bunch of quarters back on that push right there. Let's see what do we get. Oh yeah nice. Check this out. So we got about I'm guessing 15 quarters or so so let's put those quarters in there let's try to get a bunch more quarters out of there come on big money yeah there's tons of quarters on the edge right there in the center we can get all those to go i'm gonna get a bunch of quarters back come on nice push oh yeah jackpot baby we still got a couple quarters left so that right there was the last of them so let me go collect those quarters real quick we'll get right back to pushing all right i'm back so check this out we got about 55 quarters out of that one quarter we just put in there that is absolutely phenomenal so let's keep it pushing they got this thing stacked up incredibly well today looks like a giant wall of ten thousand dollar chips and gold bars back there on the moving platform they got two quarter towers on the left and the right hand side they got an enormous pyramid of quarters right there in the center Got a massive pyramid of $5,000 chips and gold. Oh, nice. We're about to get that pyramid any moment now. Come on, big money. Nice. There it goes. Wow. That was a massive push right there. And there's three mystery bags in there also. There's a purple one behind that gold tower on the blue shelf, a pink one behind that gold tower, and a brown one right there pretty close to the edge. And they got some thousand dollar chips five thousand dollar chips and ten thousand dollar chip towers today so anyhow that right there was the last of our quarters let's click some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing Alrighty, i'm back so check this out we got about 400 quarters now that is absolutely spectacular so that massive wall of ten thousand dollar chips and gold it's about to fall down back there that's going to be a massive avalanche well, that wall might end up falling backwards we'll see i hope it falls forward but oh yeah we're about to get that brown mystery bag oh my goodness nice we got the mystery bag but that wall on the right side fell backwards unfortunately if i'm not mistaken we ended up losing a couple ten thousand dollar chips of the blue shell might be able to win those back later on Oh yeah, jackpot baby. Nice, we got that tower quarters. Wow, that was an outstanding avalanche right there. And we got that tower of $5,000 chips, sweet. Now this is pushing really, really good so far. Yeah, I thought this game was gonna be a lot more difficult than this right here. Been on a losing streak all day today, unfortunately. I'll talk more about that later on. My goodness, do you see all those $10,000 chips we're winning? It's $10,000 chips and gold bars just raining out of there. They're flying everywhere. My goodness, wow, that was like a 300 grand push or more. Well, pretty much every push has been a two or three or 400 grand push for the past like 30 seconds or so. That's awesome sauce. We're making some big money today. Making bank, that's for sure. All right, so we only got a couple quarters left in the bowl. There they are. Need to win as many quarters back as possible because it'd be terrible to lose $15 million. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let's go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and check it out and see what's in this brown mystery bag just to see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there because there could be some chips in there that could help us win some of these other towers out of there oh my goodness nice check this out so we got a white dice two one dollar chips a five dollar chip and a ten dollar chip so if you don't know what this white dice is for we get to roll it at the end of the game whatever it lands on my winnings will multiply by that number and there's also like two gold dice in there for when then we get to roll them Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by those numbers. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Might get a new world record win today. Who knows? 
and this $5 chip right here, we get to cash this in. They will take all of those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. So I will cash that in later on. And these two $1 chips right here, each one of these is worth 500 quarters. So I get to cash both of these in, they will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. That is absolutely exceptional. So if, once I cash that in, that'll probably put our quarters up to about 18, 1900 of them. Because so we got about eight or 900 of them at the moment. And lastly, this $10 chip right here, we get to cash this in and we get to spin this wheel and the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. For example, $10,000 chips, $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips. It goes as low as $10 chips and it goes as high as $25,000 chips. Anyway, we get to spin that wheel, whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they will build somewhere in the play field. So this right here is pretty much worth one free tower. So that's not bad, not bad at all. That mystery bag was loaded up incredibly well. So let's get right back to pushing. Let's try to push on that right hand side for a little bit. Try to get that other massive tower quarters to fall down. Yeah, I'd say once we get that other tower quarters to go, that'll probably put our quarters up to about a little over a thousand of them. Then when I cash in those uh, $1 chips, probably have a little over 2,000 quarters. So that should be more than enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today. Oh yeah, just seeing that quarter tower on the right side move forward a bunch. Oh yeah, we're continuing to win a bunch of $10,000 chips and gold bars. Just about got that left hand side all cleared out. Oh my goodness, that was a nice push right there. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, so many gold bars and $10,000 chips about to go. Nice, that was a fabulous push right there. And the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like $1,960 an ounce. Well, that's what the spot price of gold was yesterday anyway. Somebody can let me know the exact spot price of gold for today. I would highly appreciate that. Just leave me a comment down in the comments section. Let me know what one ounce of gold is worth. And anyhow, that last round was a huge success. We made a tremendous amount of money. I think we made like... I want to say it was over three million dollars in chips and we got about 36 or 38 ounces of gold I counted those gold bars up it was either 36 ounces of gold or 38 ounces of gold so it's doing pretty good and if you don't know this they let me trade in the gold well they give me the option to trade the gold in for cash whatever the spot price of gold is at the moment or they will just let me take the gold with me and I normally just save all the gold that I win because I've heard the gold bars are going to go way up in value over the next couple years. That's what a bunch of you all have told me also. So Try to save as much gold as I can. I mean, here and there I might cash in a gold bar and get some extra cash out of it. I mean, it all depends on how much money I've lost that day. I needed some extra cash. I would cash a couple of them gold bars in. But most of the time... 99.9% .9 of the time, I just save all that gold that I win. Put it in a safety deposit box. My goodness, well, we just about got all those uh, chips off of the play field. That quarter tower's being a little bit stubborn. That's all right, though. I think if we keep on pushing on that right side, that tower quarter should fall eventually. Oh, nice. Just made $10,000 right there. Not bad, not bad at all. It's been an excellent game so far. Alright, so we only got that many quarters left. Let's put them on the right side. Come on, big push. Give me something. Alright, well, let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So, that previous round was a huge success. We made a tremendous amount of money. I think we made a little over 700 grand in chips. And we got like 9 or 10 ounces of gold or something. And we got about, let's see, what was it, 840 quarters now. So it's doing pretty good. I'd like to try to get that quarter tower on the right hand side though, because that'll probably put our quarters up to about a thousand, I'd say. And this right here is going to be the last bowl of quarters. And if this doesn't get that quarter tower and those remaining $5,000 chips on the left, I will go ahead and cash in that $10 chip and both of those $1 chips. So stay tuned for that. Just don't want anyone getting bored with just quarters falling down. 
And I've been playing for about half an hour so far. Let's see what the camera says. 28 minutes and 45 seconds. So we've been playing close to half an hour. And for you all, I've only been playing like probably 14 or 15 minutes so far. I mean, I like to cut out most of the boring parts whenever the quarters are just falling down. And sometimes I'll play for like 10 or 15, 20 minutes and there won't be any movement at all, not even on the quarters. And I know that would get very, very boring for a lot of y'all, for most of y'all anyway. So, like I've said many times before, I try to make these videos as entertaining as possible. That's why I cut out most of the boring parts. And I try to keep these videos under an hour. So we only got like, let's see, 50 quarters left in the bowl, maybe 60 of them. So let's try them on that right hand side. Well, I haven't really been paying attention to the left, but that huge stack of $5,000 chips has gotten a lot more closer. Probably get that on the next round whenever I cash in that $10 chip and stuff. All right, well that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's go cash in those $1 chips and that $10 chip real quick, and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, AMV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that 10 and those two $1 chips, and today that wheel landed on $10,000 chips. And as you can see, they built like four massive towers of $10,000 chips in there. Most of the time they would like combine all the chips into like one enormous tower, but today it looks like they switched it up a little bit and they built like four towers of $10,000 chips. I mean that's fine with me. Come on big money. Nice, we got those $5,000 chips that was on the corner. Sweet. I was worried we weren't going to be able to get those, but we really really need that quarter tower on the right side to go. I'm trying to focus on that right hand side. I mean it's like hanging more than halfway over the edge so I don't know how it's still hanging there anyhow they gave me an extra thousand quarters for those uh, two one dollar chips so got about 1720 quarters now well, that's what we had before we started pushing again so that should be way more than enough quarters to get the whole machine cleared out I hope so anyhow nice we got another tower of ten thousand dollar chips to go on the left it's raining ten thousand dollar chips right there in the middle and quarters, We're getting tons of quarters back also. So we pretty much demolished all of those $10,000 chip towers. Still one more on that left hand side, it's like right there on the edge. It's about ready to go any moment now. Come on, massive push. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, we got that tower of $10,000 chips. That is absolutely phenomenal. Holy cow got a bunch more $10,000 chips on that push right there. Now I think I've just seen that quarter tower move. So let's use that skill stop button and load up a bunch of quarters at once on that right hand side. Try to get a lot of pressure behind that big old tower of quarters. And it seems like that helps the towers whenever they're being a little bit stubborn. It helps to stack up a bunch of quarters at once. And there's so many towers on the blue shelves today. I mean, today we won that $5 chip, so we'll get to cash that in. They will take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field for free. Wouldn't cost us anything. And sometimes they will have a red earbud in there, and that literally means the exact same thing as that $5 chip. I would get to cash that in. They'd take all those towers that are on the blue shelves, and they would put them into the play field. And if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there, it would cost me two times the original buy-in for them to take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and put them into the play field. So, for example, today if that uh, $5 chip wasn't in there, I would have to pay $30 million to get the blue shelves cleared off, and that would end up being a $45 million buy-in in total, since the original buy-in was $15 million. $15 million plus the $30 million, that'd be $45 million. But luckily we got that $5 chip, so we don't have to pay that large sum of money today. So that's pretty fortunate right there. And there is one more way I could get some of those towers off the blue shelves. But this really isn't the best way to do it. I mean, say those towers were like hanging over the blue shelf just a little bit. I mean, none of them really are today, unfortunately. But if they were, if I stacked the quarters up really, really high back there on the moving platform, I would have a good chance 
of trick shotting those towers into the play field. But again, that would only be effective for like maybe one or two of the towers. The rest of them that are like against the walls here, we wouldn't be able to get those using that method. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let's try like two more bowls of quarters. And if that doesn't get that quarter tower, we'll cash in that $5 chip. So let's grab some quarters. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's play on that right hand side. Like I said, I'm going to try like two more bowls of quarters. And if that doesn't get that quarter tower to go, we'll go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. So I'm just really, really determined to get that quarter tower on the right. Because who knows, there could be anything hidden inside of it. Might be a mystery bag, a couple dice. That'd be really, really sweet if it was. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, whenever that tower quarters fell down on the left hand side, I don't think there was anything hidden in there because that brown mystery bag was in the center of the play field. I don't think it was in that quarter tower on the left. But who knows, there might be something hidden in the one on the right. I hope so anyway. Come on, massive push, give me something. So I hope everybody's doing good and having an awesome day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying these videos so far, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post bell notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. We'll help out tremendously, we're on the road to 125,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the 15th of August, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we've got a little over 123,000 subscribers now. So I think we're less than 2,000 subscribers away to get to that 125,000 mark. So I only need less than 2,000 of y'all to hit that subscribe button. So if you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. And also, let's try to get 3,000 likes on today's episode. 3,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need all y'all watching to hit that like button. I tell you what, if this video can get 3,000 likes, then the first day of it being posted to YouTube, I will do a $50 million buy-in tomorrow. How does that sound? $50 million buy-in if this video can get 3,000 likes. So if y'all would want to see that, be sure to hit that like button. And another thing, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting the subscribe button or hitting the like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a lot easier for you all to keep up with the future content. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. If you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And once you turn on all notifications, from there on out, you will get uh, notifications every single time I upload a brand new video. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any incredible content. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's try like five or six hundred more quarters. Try to get this quarter tower to go, and if it don't fall, we'll cash in that five dollar chip. So let's grab some quarters. We'll get right back to it. Alrighty, Andy Coin Busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I only grabbed like 650 quarters. So if that doesn't get that quarter tower to go, we'll cash in the $5 chip. I'm hoping they put all those towers that are on the blue shelves in pretty good spots. Because a lot of times, whenever I cash in that $5 chip, they like to uh, stack all those towers up really, really tall back there on the moving platform, but most of the time whenever they're stacked up real tall, we have a pretty high chance of losing some of the towers or chips or gold to the blue shelves, and then it would end up costing us an extra 100 grand to get it put back into the play field. So let's just hope that don't happen today. Well, to be honest, I like it better whenever they combine all the towers into like one gigantic tower back there. I don't know, they don't normally do that anymore. They used to do it, but not so much anymore, unfortunately. Come on, massive push. Give me something. We'll see how we're getting a bunch of quarters behind that quarter tower. Like, see how it's getting pretty piled up back there? That's what we want. Because it has a lot of pressure built up behind it. So we only got a couple quarters left. And I mean, whenever I cash in that uh, $5 chip, they'll probably leave that quarter tower in the same position anyway. 
I was just determined to get it before I cash in that five dollar chip. I don't like giving up too easily. So that right there is the last of our quarters. So let's cash in that five dollar chip, or we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that five dollar chip. They took all those towers that was on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field. Looks like they took both of those towers, thousand dollar chips and combine them into like one enormous tower thousand dollar chips back there on the moving platform. Oh nice, well it fell down. I think we only lost a thousand dollars to the blue shelf. That ain't too bad. Oh wow, we got another tower to go. Gold tower's about ready to go. It's leaning over the edge, but it got stuck against the glass. That right there will probably get it. Come on, massive push. Come on. Nice, there it goes. And both of those mystery bags, they're right there on the edge. Wow, that was a fabulous push right there. This is pushing incredibly well today. Holy macaroni, we just got both of them mystery bags. Sweet. So let's put a bunch more quarters back there. Try to get the remaining thousand dollar chips to fall down. Nice, there they go. Yeah, I think that gold tower on the right hand side, that's going to be uh, near impossible to win because it's behind that quarter tower. The only way we can get that gold tower is if the quarter tower in front of it falls. Oh yeah, that was a really nice push right there. Let's get that loot chute cleared out. It's getting a little bit piled up on us. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. Oh nice, that quarter tower on the right hand side, it's going. It's losing quarters at the base of it. Nice, we're winning so many thousand dollar chips. My goodness, we're making a fortune today. Oh yeah, that quarter tower, it's teetering back and forth. Come on, big push, give me something. Oh my goodness, it is so close. It almost fell a second ago. Keep a close eye on it, because it's right there. Oh my goodness, nice, we got it, finally. Wow. My goodness, I was not expecting that quarter tower to fall like any time soon, but we just got it. That is exceptional. So now we need to focus on these two towers that are on the sides. Like that tower on the left with that gold dice on top of it, that looks like it might be a little bit uh, tough to win. And that gold tower on the right looks like it might be difficult also. So I think our best bet is to push across the whole field, keep everything moving evenly and equally. Well, we just about got all those uh, thousand dollar chips out of there, which that's a good thing. So I might try like one or two more balls of quarters after this one. If it doesn't get those remaining towers out of there, I will go ahead and cash in that uh, $50 chip. No wait, we didn't win a $50 chip. Yeah, we have not won a $50 chip at all today. I thought we did, but I mean, we did win two of those mystery bags. And yesterday we did not win that $50 chip on the first mystery bag that we won. It was like on one of the mystery bags, or it was inside one of the mystery bags that was on the blue shelf. So I'm hoping that's the case today. I'm hoping there's a $50 chip hidden in there. Yeah, I get those chips confused most of the time, like, one dollar chips, the ten dollar chip. I'm just so used to winning all of the chips together. I'm not used to the chips being in different mystery bags. But who knows, there may not be a fifty dollar chip in there today. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new around here and you don't know what the fifty dollar chip is, pretty much we get to cash in that fifty dollar chip. They will take everything that's falling down those side slots. Y'all may not be able to see the side slots at the moment, but there's one on the right side there. There's one on the left. Well, y'all can see that one a little bit. So pretty much that money goes to the house, and I don't get a win or keep any of that money. But with the $50 chip, I would get to cash it in. They would take all that stuff that we lost and put it back into the play field. Pretty much give us a second chance at winning it. And that is really, really beneficial. Say if we lost a dice or something, then we get a second chance at winning that dice. Who knows, we might have lost the dice today. Alright, well that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's try one more bowl of quarters. 
Well, actually, let's go ahead and open up those mystery bags just to see what's inside of them. So I'll be right back. All right, here they are. So let's go ahead and start with this purple mystery bag right here. This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well. So let's see. Hopefully this one has that $50 chip in there. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So we got three more dice. We got two more white dice and one more gold dice. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. But unfortunately, no $50 chip. I mean, we still got one more mystery back to open. So let's see. Hoping there's something good and valuable in this one. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So we got that $50 chip. $20,000 in $10,000 chips and two more white dice. Wow, that is absolutely phenomenal right there. Well, that was pretty scary. I thought for a second that we wasn't going to get a $50 chip today. So I will cash in that $50 chip after this bowl of quarters right here. I'd like to try to get that gold tower on the right and that poker chip tower on the left. Come on, massive push. Give me something. So this right here is definitely going to be the last bowl of quarters and we'll cash in that $50 chip. And who knows, there might be a bunch of stuff down in their loot box that other people have lost. Because what it all boils down to is who last won that $50 chip. So if the person before me won the $50 chip, then there's going to be nothing more than what I've lost in there inside their loot box. But if somebody else has been playing, say the last time somebody had won a $50 chip was like hours ago, and there's a bunch of people that played, then uh, there might be a bunch of stuff down in their loot box that other people have lost. So, hoping that loot box is loaded up really good. Yeah, I think we're gonna get that gold tower. It's like right there on the edge. Nice, we got that stack of $1,000 chips that was on the left side. Oh yeah, the quarters around that gold tower are falling down into the tray. That's for sure. We just need a good push on that right side. Needs to get that gold tower off there. Still got quite a few quarters left in the bowl. Come on, massive push. Give me something. Well, we're getting tons of quarters back. Yeah, I'm just glad that that uh, quarter tower that was on the right-hand side fell down. Because it was taking a long time for that one to go. And there's been times I've played up to like seven and a half, eight hours trying to get the towers on the sides to fall down. The reason why the towers on the sides... Nice, we got that massive tower gold to go. Sweet. That is amazing right there. So anyhow, the reason why it's so hard to get them towers on the sides to fall down... Well, I mean, it's because of those gutters back there. Like, if there's any weight or pressure built up on the corners, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route. And that would be down the gutters, or it would just go around the tower. The quarters have to be lined up just right for it to move the towers on the sides. That's why you might see the towers on the sides move like once out of every 20 or 30 pushes or so. It's because the quarters have to be lined up perfectly. But in the center, you don't really have much to worry about because the center pushes amazingly well. Now there's two ounces of gold left in there. Do you think we can get it before we run out of quarters? Nice, we got them, and that's all the quarters we have left. So let's try those on the left side. I mean, we're definitely not going to get that tower out of that, but hopefully it'll move it forward a little bit. Didn't move it at all, but we got a bunch of quarters back. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in that $50 chip real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that was down in their loot box. They put it all back into the play field. Oh, nice. I think we just got a bounty chip. So pretty much they have not emptied out their loot box at all today. They told me no one that has played these games today had won a $50 chip. So since nobody got that $50 chip, that means... Most of these chips and gold that you're seeing in there is stuff that other people have lost. And you'll see a whole bunch of uh, low value chips, like $100 chips, $500 chips, $10 chips, and $25 chips. Yeah, I think I see a couple of green chips in there. Oh wow, that was a really nice push. Nice, we got one of them towers to go. There was two extra white dice in there. I think we just got one of them. And there's another one on top of that tower. We might get that here in a few minutes. 
And that blue mystery bag, that sky blue mystery bag, I think they put the mystery bags in there. Cause like, see how they put like two of the towers on the blue shelves? Oh my goodness. Well, there's so much going on right now, I can't keep up with everything. It's pushing amazingly well though. It's been a brilliant game today. Oh nice, we got that mystery bag, sweet. So more than likely that mystery bag has a $5 chip or a red earbud in there that we would get a cash in and they would take them two towers that are on the blue shelves and they put them into the play field. I don't really know why they put the towers on the blue shelves after I cash in that uh, $50 chip. Might be just to make the game a little bit longer, who knows. Or it might be because they want me to cash in that red earbud so we can't save it for a different game. I mean, we, we can't even save the earbuds or chips anyway. The only chips we could save for a different game is the bounty chips. Oh yeah, nice. That was a good push on the left right there. Got a boatload of $5,000 chips. Tons of $10,000 chips right there in the middle about to go. And unfortunately, they did not rearrange that tower of $1,000 chips that was on the left-hand side. As you can see, it's still standing there. Along with the gold dots on top of it. So we might win that. May not, who knows. But whenever I cash in that uh, red earbud or $5 chip, if it's in there, they may rearrange that tower then, who knows, because normally they'll wait till like the last round to rearrange the towers. It's what they've been doing lately anyway. Oh nice, you see that? That massive tower of $5,000 chips and uh, gold bars on the right hand side move forward tremendously. Oh yeah, that was a nice push on the left. Getting a ton of quarters to fall off the pressure back there. It's always a good thing. Come on, big push. Couple gold bars right there in the middle, getting pretty close. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. We got that tower on the right. I'd say that was at least like three or four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I can't wait to count up all these chips that we've won today. We've definitely made out like a bandit, that's for sure. Hoping this is a new world record win today, and who knows that mystery bag that we won? Sky blue mystery bag might be loaded with dice. That'd be pretty sweet. Now we need all the dice we could win, because without the dice, you probably couldn't even make your money back on one of these. I mean, it all depends on the buy-in, because there's definitely not $15 million worth of chips in there today. I'd say maybe $12 million at most. So that would be a $3 million loss, but with those white dice, whatever they all land on at the end of the game, whenever you roll them, uh, that will multiply all those chips by whatever those numbers land on. So say I've won 10 million in chips and all the dice total up to, let's say 10, 10 times 10 million dollars, that'd be a hundred million dollar win right there. So those dice are very, very valuable. Definitely the most important thing in the game, besides the quarters anyway. So anyhow, there out there was the last of our quarters. Let's grab some quarters real quick and we'll try to get that tower to fall down. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up this uh, sky blue mystery bag just to see if that $5 chip is in there. Let's see. Nice, we got it. We got that $5 chip. So after this bowl of quarters, if it doesn't get that tower to fall down, I will cash this in. They'll take them two towers on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field. So let's get right back to pushing. So I had a question for you all. What is your all's favorite mystery bag? Like what is y'all's favorite color mystery bag? I'm going to have to go with the sky blue mystery bag. That's one of my favorites. My second favorite would probably be the red one. And then probably the brown one and then the purple one. I mean they're all good. I mean seems like the sky blue mystery bags and the brown mystery bags are always loaded up better than the other ones. And the red ones also, the red ones always have good stuff in them. So just leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite mystery bag is. I was just wondering. So this tower on the left hand side, it's been insanely stubborn today. Can't believe we haven't got it to fall down yet. Well I'm just happy that that uh, quarter tower on the right side fell, because I thought we wasn't going to be able to get that today. And also, I forgot to point this out, that $1,000 chip that we lost earlier to the blue shelf after I cashed in that $5 chip, it's 
still sitting there on the blue shelf. So more than likely, whenever I cash in that uh, $5 chip, they will take that $1,000 chip and put it into the play field, along with those two towers right there and all those quarters that are on the blue shelves. If I'm not mistaken, they did not take the quarters off of the blue shelves whenever I first cashed in that $50 chip. They normally do, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we still got enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there, so I don't think it made much difference. Oh, nice. That tower on the left just moved forward tremendously. Did you see that? So the camera says I've been playing for three hours. Let's see. Let me read it real quick. Three hours, 34 minutes, and 49 seconds. So we've been playing a pretty good while now. Just trying to get this tower on the left hand side to fall down. Then we'll cash in that $5 chip. That tower's moving a little bit, but I think, I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits right there. And we're going to go ahead and cash in that $5 chip. I don't want any of y'all to get bored with just quarters falling down. So let's cash in that $5 chip. We'll be right back. Alrighty, AMB Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the blue shelves, including the one that was on the left-hand side, and they combined most of it into like one enormous tower of $1,000 chips and gold bars back there on the moving platform. So that's fine with me. That's going to work out better, actually, because we probably won't lose anything to the blue shelves. That tower should probably fall straight forward, straight down into the tray, which is exactly what we want. And that gold dice, it looks like they put like two gold bars together and they put that gold dice on top of it. It's right there on the edge, about ready to go. So I forgot to put a bunch more quarters in the bowl, so... Almost out of quarters. Might have to click some quarters real quick, so. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that dice, it's one push away from falling. Come on. Nice, we got it. That is amazing. And that tower on the moving platform, it's about to start losing some thousand dollar chips at the base of it. So we got three quarters left. Oh nice, that just lost a thousand dollars. Let's click some quarters real quick. There we go, I just grabbed a handful of them. About I guess 400, so let's see if that gets it. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, it's turning a little bit. That's a good sign that it's about to go. Come on. My goodness, it's right there on the edge. Come on, big money. Nice, we got it. That was an avalanche of thousand dollar chips right there. Sweet. There's a bunch of gold right there about to go also. Yeah, we've won a ton of gold bars today. I'd say at least 200 ounces of gold. I mean, probably a little bit more than that. I'll have to count them all up at the end of the game. And I'll let y'all know how much money we've ended up winning. And gold. So that right there was the last of our quarters. Let's collect some quarters real quick. And we'll try to get all those remaining $1,000 chips and that gold bar out of there. Be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So let's get all those remaining $1,000 chips out of there. And after that, we'll be ready to call them back here. And they will put all them dice that we've won back there on the moving platform. So stay tuned for that. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, so many thousand dollar chips on the edge about ready to drop into the tray. Nice, that was a wonderful push right there. So take a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a $15 million buy-in. No, that's a lot of money to spend, but I do these for you all. Try to make the videos as entertaining as possible. I know a lot of y'all like to see the big buy-in, so that's why I do them. Oh yeah, that was a really, really good push right there. Only three grand to go. Let's get it. Let's keep it pushing right there in that center. It's definitely our best bet. Oh yeah, two grand to go. That's going to get it. I ain't even going to put any more quarters in. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely brilliant. This has been a fabulous game today. Absolutely fabulous. So now I'm going to call them over here. I think we've won 10 dice in total. We got 7 white dice and 3 gold dice. They will put all 10 of those dice back there on the moving platform. We got to roll them on down to the play field and whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them over here real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. 
Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So I called them over here. They put all 10 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower level. Hopefully they all end on some giant numbers. And if any of the dice lands on a one, just pretend they don't exist because the ones are like zeros because it would just be multiplying my winnings and my gold by one. They wouldn't count at all. All those dice are getting pretty close to the edge. Oh no, we got a one and a four. Well, the four's pretty good. Oh my goodness. Three of the dice landed on ones. Let's see what that other white dice on the left side is going to land on. Oh nice, we got a six. Well, it looks like we ended up with four ones, unfortunately. I mean, that's not too bad. The rest of them made up for it. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all that, and I'll let y'all know how much money we've won back from a $15 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely phenomenal. I ended up winning $11,433,765 in chips. And all of those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 19. And in total, I ended up winning $217,241,535 from a $15 million buy. And that is absolutely outstanding. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win right there. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, I ended up winning 234 ounces of gold. And all those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by four. And in total, I ended up winning 936 ounces of gold today. And those are around $1,960 a piece. And last but not least, I ended up winning a bounty chip. So that bounty chip is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $15 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications, that way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.